In the age of social media, content creation is flourishing like never before. Crafting content and making graphic designs can take hours and hours, especially if you lack experience in it. But thanks to the advancements in AI, creating content has never been easier even for those without any skills or expertise in it. Hello guys and welcome to the new video of P10X. Today we'll be showing you how to leverage Canva and ChatGPT to create stunning designs effortlessly without any knowledge or experience in it. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to open ChatGPT's website which is chat.openai.com um, Before we go ahead, I want to uh, share one thing that the plugins, whether it's for Canva or any other plugin, they are as of now only available for ChatGPT4 which is the paid version. It is not available for the free version which is ChatGPT 3.5. So if you want to use this Canva plugin or any other plugin, you need to have a subscription of ChatGPT4. So uh, we select the chat GPT-4 uh, option and then we go to the plugins here. If you don't have uh, this option uh, showing, you go to the sidebar, you come down to the three dots, you go to settings and beta, you go to the beta features and you ensure that the plugin has been enabled. So now that we have it here, uh, we need to uh, enable the Canva plugin. Since I've already done it in the past, it is uh, showing on the top for me. But in case you don't have it, you scroll down here to the plugin store. You just uh, search for Canva and you'll be e uh, easily able to find it. Uh, now we need to enable the plugin. At max, you can enable three plugins at a time. So we'll just enable the Canva plugin. So the next thing that we need to do is as for any prompt or for any use case that we do for chat GPT, we first need to uh, train it. So I'll just give a prompt saying, uh, pretend you are a famous graphic designer, designer for social media. So in this way, we'll train the chat GPT and we'll set a context which would then uh, give us better results. It is always important uh, to set a context uh, and that helps us with our prompting. So, okay, chat GPT has said that it is ready to help us. Now, let's go on to the designing part of it. So, let's say I have uh, an Instagram page or I'm just trying to start an Instagram page and I really like to make food, I really like to cook. So, I want to create an Instagram post around a post of a recipe for any dish. So, I'll just type here, help me with a cooking recipe post for Instagram. And let's see what ChatGPT says. So, ChatGPT would obviously need uh, some type of uh, information for us uh, and we need to give it a bit more context but I'll just keep it as a general uh, template so I'll just say uh, give me a general template so let's see what it says now so guys see here it has now enabled the canva plugin and it has started to give us some templates so it is now using Canva and it is giving us uh, a lot of these templates for our Instagram post. See guys, see this one. I really like this one. It has given me a pancake recipe, uh, which I can easily uh, post on my Instagram page. Sweet potato salad, lunch jars. Here is another template for a recipe. At max, uh, ChatGPT will give you up to five Canva templates and you can choose anyone uh, that you like or you can ask it to even generate more templates for you. So out of all of these, I probably like the third one the most. So what I'll do now is I'll just click on the link here. And now the beauty of this plugin is that it will directly take us to Canva. So from ChatGPT, now we have directly come to Canva. Um, if you have an account on Canva, that's great. But otherwise, you don't really need to sign in to use this plugin. But I would suggest that you do make an account so that your work gets saved and it is easier for you to navigate. Um, now, the best thing about this here is that everything here that we can see on our screen, we can edit each and everything. So, for example, instead of a pancake, I want a pizza. And I don't want this images. 
as it's not of a pizza. So I'll just go to elements and I'll search for a pizza here. And I like this one. So I'll just reduce the size and I'll place it here in the bottom and adjust it however we want. Now, if you want to change the color here, you can change the color. You can make it black, you can make it red, green, whichever color that you want. If you want to change the font here, you can go to the font section. You can take another font. Um, you can uh, increase the size or play with the size of it. It is totally up to you, however you want this template to be. But uh, with the help of ChatGPT, we were able to land on this particular template. And now it's up to us, however we want to go ahead with it. So that's the beauty of this plugin. And uh, it really helps you if you have no experience in graphic designing. And with this, you can start your social media content creation journey. Now, before we go on to another aspect of uh, this video, guys, I would like to bring it to your notice that we at B10X have created a two-hour live workshop on AI tools and chat GPT. So if you've liked the video so far and you think that uh, what I've shown you is uh, something that you can use in your life and it is something that you gain some knowledge from, I would ask you to do check out our workshop. The link is there in the description. I'm sure you would really learn a lot from it. It is being taught by two IIT Kharagpur alumnus and the price of the workshop is very, very low. So it is easily affordable and you get to learn a lot. So go on to the link in the description and enroll for the workshop today itself. With that being said, uh, let's look at another aspect of how ChatGPT can help us create uh, things for our social media. Now, let's say I want to design a logo. So I'll just type in a simple prompt. Help me make a logo for my new company. Let's hit enter and see what ChatGPT responds to that. ChatGPT says, oh, all right, I'd be happy to assist you, but like last time, ChatGPT needs some more details, obviously, because we haven't really given it much details. So we'll keep the name as B10X. Industry would be AI. Color preferences and style preferences, uh, we can leave as of now. Imagery, we can keep AI. So it's up to you how many details you want it to give. If you want, you can give it uh, you can make it as detailed as possible. The more detailed you make, the better the results will obviously be. But right now, I just want to give you an overall perspective. So I won't be going into that minute details. So yet again, it has enabled the chat GPT plugin. It is using that. And here we go. It is starting to give us some AI related uh, logos. Wow. See you guys, have a look at this. How amazing is that? Do you think if you have no graphic designing experience, you would be able to create it yourself? I don't think so. This one is uh, more of a simplistic design. And over and tie. Wow, I really like this one. See the detailing of this, guys. I don't know if I was uh, a total amateur. I don't think I would be able to create this. So sometimes it gives you four templates. Sometimes it gives you five. But... Uh, Probably out of these four, I like this one the most. So once again, we'll click on this link. It will uh, take us again to our Canva page. And yet again, everything that we can see on our screen, we can edit it. So for example, I need to change the brand name to B10X. Or here we can add our tagline, which is 10X your productivity. Now, if I'm feeling that the spacing is too much, I can decrease the spacing all the way. I can manually type zero here as well. Now, if I want to spread it across, I can do that. I can place it in the center. I can play with it however I want, guys. Uh, we can change the background color. I'll keep it as black. We can add some more elements. For example, if I want to add something more related to AI, we can do that here. Uh, I like this. So I'll just take it here. And obviously it's not the final product, but this video is just to showcase how you can use it and 
here we go guys here we have our own company's logo you can play with it you can design it however you want it is as per your needs you can um do how, however you want guys so it's totally up to you and uh, the beauty of Canva and ChatGPT is that it really saves your time and it helps you create things that you probably have no knowledge of. As of now, ChatGPT primarily aids us in identifying the best templates and streamlines our design process, significantly saving our time. And that's the true essence of AI, isn't it? AI is not here to replace humans, but it is here for a person who can utilize it and for us to have an advantage over a person who does not use AI. AI is here to save our time, AI is here to make our lives easier.